it's my birthday month, and I definitely should have been opening more toys. I mean, every day is my birthday, I guess, and I open up toys that I love all the time. This is no ex exception. Um, Ice Cub is really the only new character in this pack that I need. PJ Mask, Power Heroes, that I guess is what this set is called, featuring Ice Club. It's his first appearance. You can also get a multi-car set, so sometimes you can get little cars that come with these. I did get this on Amazon. I waited for a sale. I wanted it for the longest time. I told myself I wasn't allowed to get it, but then I did get it. There's one set that I didn't let myself get that has them in their pajamas. The plain clothes kids. These one, two. Why do they have them separated? That's weird. Um, Owlette and Catboy and Gecko. And that has them in their same costumes again. And it has them in their plain clothes. I do have the Just Play versions of them in their clothes, which... If it all comes down to it, I think I do prefer the Just Play figures, but now that Hasbro has had the line for a few years, I do also think that these are adorable too, so I have collected them all. Uh, PJ Masks Superhero Babies in Pajamas. It doesn't get much cuter than this. Sets like this, they did. These deluxe sets with new characters they would put in these packs. I was hoping that they would make a gecko green one. They made like an Owlet red, Catboy blue. I was assuming that eventually a green one would come out. But, like I said, there are a few more sets like this now that they have put in cardboard boxes that are not so i don't think we're getting the case i don't these take up like storage area that doesn't fit with my other storage so i think i will be getting rid of these cases you can see inside that they have well that comes off but that's on purpose um little departments like this compartments so you can't really you can't really they get in the way they're kind of thin I kind of put my figures in the buckets. Now, I'm hoping that at least these costumes are different because basically, which is why I had to, you know, the only reason I got this set was this one guy, but I do like collecting the accessories. I think, I don't know, we're gonna have to look at some of the other hoods, these special hoods that go on, and hopefully they are different. I love collecting the totems, which are they in here? Or do I have them somewhere else? Oh no. Oh no, I have another box of PJ Masks stuff somewhere that I don't have today. Anyway, I guess we're going to have to do another video then too, because I do have um, a huge collection of these um, small little totem things that I love very much. Let's grab my scissors and open up this pack. Okay, so you can see what the box, open face, no plastic packaging. We like that. Hasbro has been experimenting with that for some time, and I think they've gone back to the plastic window. It's, uh, the, the, the toys on the shelves, I think, get too messed up for that. However, I don't know how long toys are going to be on the shelves uh, anymore. Kids don't buy toys. Okay, so that's cool. I like how this is. I love this scene. I like seeing the figures. They're so cute. This is this, this is the special guy. So as far as I know, he's only in two different sets, at least that I can find here in Canada. Again, um, a set with a similar kind of set. I think it has six figures and six different mini cars that are like this size car. So yeah, you can get a set like that, and his goggles are slightly different, just like we will see with, um, I don't know what that guy's name is, um, Newton Star. Newton Star's Deco is going to be a little bit, and so is uh, Onyu. Onyu uh, has a mask on, so they have masks on, very PJ masky. Oh no, we have these ties. This, this is going to be a lot of work. And then we have this. Oh, I didn't know that there was a hole in it. All right, so all of the accessories have spilled everywhere. The colors are looking so bright and colorful to me. I'm excited about that. And then 
we got a little some propaganda in here. Hmm. Useless. I do like this cardboard tube. Oh, there's something else in here. I guess these these items are painted, so they have wrapped them like little parcels in tissue paper. That's interesting. And then these are the solid color. We've got some translucent plastic going on. Gecko often comes with a suction cup, I guess, because he supposedly climbs walls. This looks like it's a little crushed, but it's a rubbery plastic. Oh, Ben's in there. Um, I'm thinking I have not seen this hood before, so I'm liking that. And I think it feels kind of different from the other hoods. And this looks like a different hood, too. Very feathery, very superstar. They kind of remind me of uh, Battle of the Planets, Digimon. Uh, what other names do they have for that? Which I never did get toys for. There was one kind of toy that was made and accessible to me in my lifetime. But I didn't like them enough. So this is me living out my... Japanimation dreams here, even in an even cuter style. Okay, so that is cleared out. I'm going to cut these or untie these. These are untying pretty easily. kind of love these splatters of color. That's really cool that they use the same color paper ties as they did. You know what, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to cut these for speed. So, snip. And snip, and I definitely won't be saving these hats, even though I'm sure there's something crafty I could do with these. But this, I guess I don't. Yellow, and then we go to blue. I wish you could see here better. Blue. How come the figures aren't falling? Let's say, oh, Catboy just fell. Oh, they are falling. But the backdrop is kind of cool. You see this green, green, and red. Oh, two different reds because Elwood is red and so is all you. Better name. And and you on you. I think your name's on you. Don't get it on you. Let's check out this colorful backdrop, which looks rainbowy, super starry, lightning bolt, fantastic. But I guess I won't be keeping that. So try not to make too much of a mess, and not just throw this on the floor. All right. Okay. I don't want to cover up this. And then here we go. Here are the figures. Here we'll bring over this box, and we'll see. Here. So this is Catboy with, usually I think his tail's articulated. Check him out. So, so cute. He's probably different from the other ones I have. And then here's Owlette. Looking real, real cute. The articulation on these is the arms go out and around. So you gotta love that. And then the legs move together. And then we got this rubbery cape. This one, oh, it's attached differently, which is probably good because I have, uh, I do have one outlet with a ripped cape. And then we have New New Newton Newton Star. Check him out with his new mask. Oh, he looks really cute. I like his high top kind of cut off hair. It's awesome. Love it. And then what is going on there on the side? Are those straps on his glasses? Are they face paint? I don't know. He looks super spacey, cool, love his uniform. Then here is the special guy, Ice Cub. He is the newest addition to the PJ Mask gang, as far as I know, in figure form. And he's got a snowflake on his chest and he has a bear face. He looking real, real cute. Oh yeah, I like his uh, gray details on his boots and legs and on you. There she is with her new mask on. Okay, uh, feeling these paint jobs done really, really well. I'm not regretting this. This looks like a new detail to me. We're going to have to compare her to some of the other ones inside. And then we have these accessories. This might be a different uh, 
ice catboy has these ice power strip energy bolts and um, this one looks different than any of the other ones I have. I do have a suction cup from Gecko before. This one does look, I don't think I have a translucent one, so I love translucent plastic, so that's great. Then we have this ice power shield. It looks like a shield that also shoots energy, so I like that. And then this is a little translucent, which I don't think I have translucent. I, mm, there's some translucent items in there, especially from the Christmas set. Uh, this is very, very cool, though. Owlette shield, feather shield. And then this is also, uh, I guess this was probably for, well, they have this in the on you section on the box, but I'm not sure if it really does say, look, there's this extra piece these wings which they have him wearing here i mean you can mix and match this up but they have it under the newton star section so it's kind of i don't know who really is supposed to get what but i think you can mix and match this stuff another energy bolt shield thing happening and then we have another energy bolt shield thing with star who do they have that oh they have that with newton star again very cool also is this the same one no they're all different these two are the same except they're done in different translucent plastics and then we have a totem i can't believe i don't have my totems here are these really not in here that's so sad i know that i was uh putting them in my diorama what else am i missing is the question from this set and i must have some other box and then we have a staff for on you again i have had this before not translucent but it looks like wood it looks like bamboo awesome and then the three masks um, or head pieces head gear that i've already shown you in red green and blue and i love those they look really cool and these little surprise packages what is in here As I was showing those accessories, I probably should have dressed the guys up, but I wanted to compare them in their plain clothes before I do put these things on them. All right, so here, a painted detail, a little set of wings. You can see the details on that are pretty fantastic. This stuff is especially painted very, very well. And then, this, was, this would have been a good set to open up in the wintertime because it is very winter themed because of ice cub but the mountains always have snow in them i think that's where he lives well this is wrapped up really well and we get a snowboard so a bit hollow on the back side but there's this place to put his feet let's just put his feet right in there it matches him so well and oh yeah so it's kind of interesting you just kind of got to squeeze his feet in and uh, there's no peg and peg hole system or anything well there is actually there's tiny little pegs and tiny little holes mm, i thought it was just the pressure i'm not sure if the peg holes are actually going in you know what they're not it is just the the tension that's holding it in there that is so funny they went to the trouble to make those pegs and they don't even fit that's funny it is still staying it's the tension of his tight legs getting squeezed together and it fits so i mean can't complain about that if it works his head turns like this by the way and then snowboarding radical ice cub love him cool okay Excuse me, hold on. Okay, I thought this was just the painted stuff. Why, are, why is it some stuff wrapped and some stuff isn't wrapped? Oh, this does have paint on it. I think I have one of these before. I think it is a different shape. We're going to have to take a look at that. We'll compare them in a second. But I do like that spacey detail on there. And uh, this is what uh, Newton Star 
Why do I always forget his name? This is what he stands on. He's always standing on a rock. Maybe this is like a uh, comet that travels and he flies on it. Maybe that is why they do that. That is kind of cool because he always gets a rock to stand on. And there's one other. That, okay. Wait, did I open them all? One, two. What is happening? Oh, we did open three. It was the wings. My goodness. All right, so now we, we have to put these, we have to compare them and then we have to put their costumes on them and see. There's so much going on in here. Uh, Owlette with a headdress, Owlette with a headdress. You're gonna have to check out some of my other PJ Mask videos to remind yourself and myself where these came from because there are so many. I'm looking right now through their different headgear and seeing if any of them look similar. So I still don't have the feathery wings, but you can see over the years that look at those translucent stuff. That was the advent calendar, the Christmas advent calendar, which was so cool. Love the translucent figures that are in here. Okay, here is the other rock. So the rock is exactly the same as the one I had before. Yeah, I think even the painting is the same on it. So there's no difference in that. But check out this version, translucent body. Oh, and he's holding his sphere, uh, whatever that ball is. Maybe that's a mini comic. I love the translucent body on this, but I really do like his mask. So mm, the deco paint, they're very different figures. So I'm not going to complain at all about those two. Look at his big green eyes. Really, really cute. Um, but also really, really cool to have the mask on. And look at all that detail. He looks like he's won awards. And that is his medal. Look at this guy. He is so cute. Monkey cuteness. All right. Um, any other masks in here? Oh, whoops, we almost lost the headgear. Check out this. Oh, that's, that's a favorite piece. Gecko in his headpiece. It looks different from this one. These ones are very shoulder pad. Another one with Catboy, and I have him super deluxe up with all of these energy things. And again, we've gotten these energy bolts and stuff before, but I don't think we've got any swooshes like, uh, like this one. So it's looking like this was not a bad investment at all. We're getting accessories we haven't seen before. This, this is a place I think for a robot to sit on. Oh man, there's so much good stuff in here. Um, oh yeah, here's Gecko with his rubbery suction cup, which again is different than this translucent one. So even that is different. So I'm definitely happy about this. Okay, here's what we wanted to check. Okay, on you, the headpiece is pretty much the same. She just has the goggles on. Oh, this body is translucent, which I do love translucent body. But it is good to get a solid colored one. And she has a side glance in the new figure. Oh, in this old figure. Um, the new figure, mask. It is a cool mask. They are called PJ masks. It makes sense that the masks are brought. There is a richer red on uh, the new one. So also think that's kind of cool too. Yes, 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 yes. Very, very cool. Very cute. And uh, any other masks in here? Check out this girl. And then the snow ones go very well with ice cub. So they definitely will play well together with the, the snow thing. I should have opened up those sets together. But in, oh, here's a newer character. Robot pirate guy. Any other, any other headgear in here? No, but we have different geckos. I think this was the Valentine's Day gecko. Oh, another headpiece. So it looks like the headpieces are 100% new, at least from the sets that I have. I loved, I loved getting these, and I got a couple versions of these. One from maybe that's what's going on here. I've kept those sets differently. 
the, the last blind box sets that I opened, I got the whole collection and they came with totems and animals and I don't see the double animals in here. So I believe I have separated that case and that's why I don't have those examples here. But I do love these, uh, these pets, these ride, riding beasts are so cool. But I do have other versions of those. And yeah, I guess those are in a different area. Look at her. Did I show you her yet? Octopus girl, I guess she is. Sea creature. I'm not sure if she's good or bad. I don't watch the cartoon. I just collect the awesome figures. Okay, so we have to put their headgears on now that we've seen their headgear. Headgear is plural, singular and, and plural, headgear, gear. Um, I don't, this guy's translucent, which is awesome, but I don't know if you can tell that. You can see through his head and body. And this guy's different. I guess he's going to be the same as as a basic PJ mask. He doesn't look like the deco, doesn't look uh, any different. I don't want to take these masks off. I kind of want to identify where each one of these figures were from, but there's so many. I still have so many that I didn't even show you. Oh, the pirate version. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So, so let's put the head gear on it. It's, it is different. It's so different from the other ones. Um, we've got this void. They usually are helmets that go on the back and they have this, they have uh, cut down on plastic by not having a back on them, but there's something to it. There's something that makes it a little cool. This tail, sometimes I think it's articulated. Sometimes I'm not sure. I don't, I want to be careful and I don't want to bend the, break the plastic or anything. I'm not sure if it's intended to be, um, articulated or not. All right, so this lightning bolt, I knew it was different. It just, it's very, very different from the masks, and not just in the details that are on it, but in the way that it, the plastic is made out of a different kind of rubber, and it also fits on differently than the other masks. So this is very, very cool, or head gear, other head gear. But check out Catboy in his new outfit. Very, very cool. Love it. And then, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, oh no, oh no, gecko. Which one is the gecko from the set? Oh no. Um, this one has headgear on, so it can't be him. Did I put headgear on him? Did I compare? Oh no, oh, he's down here. He's, he must have fallen, I don't know when. I, he, I might not have even shown him yet. So he looks pretty normal to whatever this set was. Again, that's probably the same set that I showed Catboy. He looks pretty much exactly the same from whatever set came with this headgear. But that's fine, because we got a completely different headgear, outfit, costume for him to put on. Check that out. Again, there's an opening on the back, different from these sets. I mean, I like the clothes back a lot. I do like the feel of this rubber, but the fact that this is a little bit different and a very shoulder emphasis on all of the shoulders here. So very, very cute and different and special. So just like me. And then we have Alet, and Alet looks the most deluxe. I really like the feather shoulders. She looks like a superhero for sure. I was going to examine the cape, how the cape goes on. It seems the cape does go on in the same way. You know what? It's the Just Play ones that had the cape go on in a different way and where I have one that's torn. Okay, so that's that's cool. That is so cool. What is she that she gets this translucent shield. And I said that she didn't get a translucent shield before, but I'm looking right here. And we have this translucent figure with a translucent shield, but it has paint on it. And at least this one is unpainted. I do prefer my accessories unpainted. I don't know why. It's just like a, a pop of color, 
opposed to over detailedness. So that is why I am loving this set a lot. That is really cool. She looks super souped up and protect. I noticed that their gear is definitely really up close around their necks. And um, I think it makes them look extra cute. So I'm, uh, I am liking that. Okay, now let's full outfit. Gecko gets the, gets the suction cup again. So you can stick them to surfaces. Should I try to do that to this box? Oh, maybe I can do it to the side. It's really working. You probably, if you got it wet, it would stick more. But look at them. Look at them suction cupping. Got to peel off. Oh, it's it's working too well. It worked too well. Can't complain about that. Um, again, this totem. I would say that this is an extra, an accessory. They put it under on you on the box. But yeah, ah, uh, what a shame that I don't have my other totems because the blind boxes all came with one totem each. So I have quite a collection of these, and then plus I have some from other sets too. And uh, they're usually the same, they're always the same mold, but they put them in different colors. So I do have to add that. I have to hunt down that other collection. Let's give this to Newton Star. This, he looks really good with that. I wonder if this, I wonder if this is like a comet for him to fly on, it must be. You let me know if you know anything about Newton Star. Does he fly around on this comet like Zodak does in Masters of the Universe? Does he? Can he fly on a snowboard? Oh, like okay, no. Catboy has to somehow put this on. I don't. I don't know if he's supposed to like hold hold it in his hand. I guess you can do pretty much anything you want with it. Is he supposed to wear it around his waist? Like he, like he's flying through air like this. I mean, the possibilities are endless, really. I notice that this is a little more round. This is flat on this end. So if he was going to hold it in his hand, it would be this way, which actually kind of looks really cool too. So maybe that is the intention, like a whip. <sighs> I don't think they're that violent. I think most of them, if you notice, most of them have shields as weapons. So maybe they're extra good. Uh, these kids are good. They're, I mean, they're babies in pajamas. Come on. And then Ice Cub, look at his translucent shield ray thing. And then him also on his additional accessory. Which he's so lucky to get all of these extra accessories. And then what about on you? She gets this staff, which I also wanted to compare how different it is from the staff we got before. Oh, check out this scepter. Oh, that's so nice. That belongs to somebody. Got all these robots in here. Oh, this is my favorite character. We didn't get him this time. Night Ninja. He's so cute. Here it is. Here's the other staff. It looks like it's molded in exactly the same plastic. It's exactly the same. So, I mean, it's still really nice. Look, she can double fist them now. Look at her. She got two of them. Cute. Awesome. I can't remember who came with that snake staff. And then, I haven't seen her either. I forget her name. She's bad. Monkey. I kind of feel bad about not getting... I got a set. I really wanted this character. And, uh, and I didn't really want the vehicles that... But I got a set, a two pack, with two of these guys and two cars for them to have to go with them. We also didn't get any of these splats. Um, so I instead, but then later, I saw that you could get all of the figures together in a pirate costumes. And then plus, you can also get 
uh, blind boxes and with the whole pirate series, which I also did not get. I have to say that the pirate series was my least favorite costumes for them. However, I do love pirates and robot pirate guy. I forget his name. He's really cool. Okay, and then there's this guy. He came in one of the big plastic sets, one of these. He came in one of these sets. So he was a multi-pack again, and he's the one that came in. Very Egyptian, and I love him. And I love that he has the darker complected skin. He looks so cool. So cool with his scepter. Yeah, okay, anyway, her stuff is the same. Back to the set. We have one more, no, we don't, we have this. She gets two accessories. She gets a shield, energy force shield thing, and she gets her fighting staff, her ninja fighting whatever, whoever. So cool, so, so, so cool. And then we have this one extra accessory, and I'm still not sure who is supposed to get this. I think it matches Newton Star better than it does Ice Cub, but again, they have Ice Cub wearing it on the back of the package. And you know what? It doesn't really fit on. It doesn't really fit on his neck. And then they have it under Newton Star on the on the front. See, it shows under Newton section here. But then Ice Cub is wearing it. But I think you're allowed to mix and match who can wear these things. It fits on him better. I don't think I can really get it on Ice Cub. I guess kind of, but you see, he's got more of a broader back, so it's not really getting around his neck. And then on you, if you yeah, it doesn't really fit on her. How about Gecko? It fits on Gecko really well. Fits it on him the best so far. He's smaller, but... Newton Star is who it matches the most, so that's who I think it's really for. And he flies, and it doesn't really make sense, does it? If he, if if this is true, that he already flies because of the this rock, this comet, then he doesn't need the wings. But they definitely look the coolest on him, even though there's silver detail. Oh, the silver detail matches the rock. Okay. So that is uh, this. That is the collection of these. I'm going to not end the video right now. I'm going to show you the rest of these. Okay, here we go. Here's this. I'll show you these cards. We've got Owlette with wings here. Looking really, really cool. These are the... Oh no, these are the older wings. They're also wings that have hinges in them. Oh, that's from the other set. No, oh, no. What's the point of me showing you these when I have more of them somewhere else? We'll have to review another video. I'll have to set them up and put them in their their collections. Um, I forget his name from the Advent Calendar though. Snow themed. Showed you this guy already. I love the monkey. They made him better in by Hasbro than they did by Just Play. Uh, he's the only figure that I think is cuter in Hasbro's version. And then this guy, new character, um, just showed you this guy, love him. Night Ninja is my favorite character. These are the only two versions in this box of him. Um, always translucent, always sparkly, always looking mischievous. Um, I forget what her name is. Luna, Luna Girl. Um, cute, she has a mask. Um, I should have taken a picture of her during the solar eclipse. Oh no. She would have been so good for the Instagram. He's Catboy in some different decos. I believe this one was Valentine's Day. And uh, some different geckos in different costumes. This hood is attached to his regular head. Pirate hat is attached to his regular head. Uh, another Luna girl with uh, very translucent -y sparkly hair. Uh, very, very cool. I really should have taken her picture during the eclipse. Some robots from different sets. Another robot. 
Um, this is the only one that I forgot his name. Not really. And then there's Owl, uh, Owlette here in some underwater aquatic. Uh, another Owlette. I believe this is the Valentine's Day version from the Valentine's Day blind boxes. I showed you that stone. Lots of other accessories. Gecko's huge turtle shell shield, which is amazing. We got some feet things. Uh, oh yeah, look, they've got different bottoms of the feet from the new ones. The new bottoms of the feet are so much different. From, oh wait, are they? Are they though? Very, very, very strange. It's not just a whole peg system. It's and then we get some bananas. They must have come from the monkey guy. And uh, more of these awesome blue things. Oh, now here's a translucent suction cup. That would have come with the Advent Calendar Christmas set. All right. I hope you like going down this memory lane with me. These must be for Luna Girl. They are so good. Look, I've got checklists here too. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Let me know if you want to see more PJ Mask videos. What is this? Is it oh, so cool. So much cuteness. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time.